Right guys, we're down here at Prairie Sports Village again with PGA Teaching Professional, James Major. And what are we doing today, James? Well today I think it's time to take stock of, of how well you're actually doing. Right. Um, ordin ordinarily when you're making changes to a golf swing, you would recommend that someone doesn't touch the golf course, spends time on the practice ground, hits plenty of golf balls, works very hard at making the changes, and you guys play golf <laughs> and do all these vlogs and everything else like that, and so obviously it's, it's, um, the progress is going to be a bit slower. Right, okay. But it's time to look back at previous videos, yeah. the, videos we've, the videos we've done most recently, look at things today and actually try and see if there's any changes in the swing, how, much, how far we've come so far. Okay, okay. Nice. So, so let's have a look at our swings then. Yeah, so I will add that the people that have been watching that have commented saying that we have improved. But yeah. We'll see what James says. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Yeah. It'd be nice to see you know, literally frame by frame comparison yeah, between yeah. things. So, yeah. Let's have a look at that then. Okay. Okay. On the improved golf swing, we see how simple the takeaway is, how the golf club moves away, very uniform. Nice and smooth, nice and slowly. Already beginning to coil up around that inside that right thigh. Even at this position here, you can see that very, very subtle weight transference on the new golf swing. When we look at the old golf swing, is the golf club face is, is, is coming away quite hooded. One of Wayne's compensating manoeuvres that he's done in the past there would be we'll keep the golf club face closed or potentially starting with a closed club face in order to stop the golf ball from cutting across. This takeaway here, everything's moving away together, the hips and the hands and arms and everything away together and the right leg already beginning, even at this stage, even where the golf club's just beginning to pass the right leg, it's already the right leg's beginning to lock. So an awful lot of body weight at the top of the back swing is, is being pushed over onto that left side at the very, very top. Okay, well, on, on the new golf swing, you can see the loading up of the body weight on, around the inside of that right thigh. So, if we were able to stop at that position, okay, if that was the end product with both golf swings, even then, but before we talk about looseness of hands and arms and everything, we can see that there's too much weight on the left leg at the top of the back swing, whereas the right screen is superb there. But then, that obviously, Wayne's characteristic flop at the top of the back swing, but it's still more controlled. On the new golf swing, it is an overswing, but it's more controlled. Whereas on the, the old swing, it just keeps on going and going and going, and the golf club's right over at the top. Okay, so from that position there, there's a hell of a lot of catching up to do in order to bring that golf club back down to that golf ball. And the body weight's already on the side that you'd expect to finish the golf swing on. We, we finish our swings on the left side and we've hit the golf shot, and Wayne's already on his left side and yet the golf has got much greater distance to travel than the average golfer's golf swing. So he's got a hell of a lot to do just to work that golf club back and try and drop it in on that golf ball. Really, really crunching up to try and stay in behind the golf ball. Whereas on the new golf swing there, you've got all the time in the world, you're already behind the golf ball, you're just staying there basically. That said, we, we are working on delivering that golf club at that golf ball a little bit more on the inside. There's a little bit there where you could say that the um, the November swing, the attacking angle was 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 good. It was it was it was a little bit steeper. That's coming a little bit shallow in there, but we're working on that. The main thing is that the body weight is so much better behind that golf ball there, into impact, head staying very steady, and then that golf club gets released through the ball, and it's just 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 a much simpler, much more manageable golf swing than than the than the November swing, where everything is just a hellfire rush to try and get everything back into that golf ball to strike it and the divot line we can't see a divot on a mat obviously but the divot line this one looks like the golf ball should, should by, by rights have gone into the trees there and it's going to shoot out to the right okay we're there just a little bit wide these heads deep to the little far apart yeah for a medium line posh is good yeah everything's good in that respect Heavy, yeah? Yeah. It's just still getting a bit, you'll see it on the camera, it's still getting a bit flicky and loose at the top. You're losing control of the, the you know, timing so critical when you're loose at the top of your backside. Can you, how much is that, is that style you can do as much as you got? 
think so. Topping the ball there, yeah. Actually, so you're actually swinging it off and back a little better towards the top of the swing. How do you do that? Well, to me now, looking at the way you're swinging the club, you're actually swinging the golf club back bodily a lot, lot better than, than before. The positions that your body is getting, if you disregard yeah. your arms, yeah, it's uh, are a lot better, but you just it's so loose and inconsistent at the top of the back so yeah. um, we've got to try and address this this position. Okay one more way. Okay. So what I'm what I'm seeing there when you're coming into that golf ball there's a better position at the top for the backswing, yeah. but then your delivery into the ball is sort of over the top. It's, it's, you're coming out the golf, golf ball yeah. from, from this sort of angle here. You're not delivering that golf club and pulling in towards the golf ball, striking it. And I, it's not because the position is wrong at the top, it's looking a lot better. It's, it, it, to me, it's coming from this, this kind of looseness, what, you know, what's pulling, what, which muscles are pulling, which, which muscle groups are you using to attack the golf ball. Um, what we've done before, and again, it's not on video, but we've, we've done it before, we've got you hitting shots and trying to pull in and, and, and pull tight and, and sort of almost like trying to bit, bit of tape inside the golf ball and get that contact and, and, and clip that tee peg and all that yeah. sort of type of stuff. And that's something I want you to go back to working on. You should be able to get that, even you know, that position you're talking about to is so much better when it's not loose, when it's not floppy. Uh -huh. But, and there's people out there with in all sorts of weird and wonderful golf swings. You should be able to control that club from that position which is good enough there and pull that golf club in a little bit more and get that contact in the right sort of area. Everything you are hitting, that's why there's some weird and wonderful shots on there, is coming, is striking towards the, the, the heel, the shank end of the yeah. golf club, yeah. thin or necky or whatever. And, um, and it's, to, to me, it's just, it's just this, this motion where you come in, what we call sort of over the top of it, and pull it across the golf ball off to the left there. Dragging round on it, which showed in the previous video, rather than you know, rather yeah. swinging through. Yeah. So just have a, another swing, and I want you to. What do I want you to do? So, from set, you set yourself to begin with. To do a, a half a swing from it, we should try and just swing the golf club back half three quarters and through so we've got more control. See, at that stage, you got a little bit of draw on the ball. It wasn't the greatest contact in the world, but uh, the club bounced off the mat a bit. Yeah. And again. Fantastic. Brilliant. Really, really good. So let's lengthen it a little bit. Let's see where in this swing you start to lose the plot. Right, okay. On the control. See, what you'll see on the camera when you look at that yeah. is exactly what you're doing in your practice swing. You're kind of giving the, you're, you're kind of come and stepping in for the camera. So for some reason, on your practice swing, you're giving it this on the practice swing. And it's, the wrist we kind of want to cut out of this. Uh -huh. we're, doing. We're, trying, we're trying to basically control things, so, so have a sense that the hands and arms stay on the golf and controlling it. Doing that is, is pretty much what we just see on the camera, you just flicked and it got very steep and sharp, yeah. it goes off the neck and skewed off over to the right. So, so keep that, that half swing more controlled with the, the hands, less, less wrists, more hands on the club. Not mm. so, 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 so a half swing position is going to be sort of around about there. Right. Okay. 
So, so, so we're not going to not going to get this situation where you've got really really cute hands. It's too much. Okay, we're going to try and keep it more of that. So keep your hands. So it's going to sit in your third view. It's, it's, it's the point where you haven't got as much risk going going on in the swing. Strike was better. It was a it was a bit off to the right still, but. tighter to your body. So three quarters of the back swing and pull and, and try and pull in. Right. Good. You got a bit of tape, yeah, we're showing the heel actually. <laughs> Strikes more towards the toe and all of a sudden you get a better shot again there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, the bottom line to what we're trying to achieve or trying to be conscious of is that you've got this sort of slight um, lack of flexibility yeah. in that, in that, yeah. in that hand with the plate in it. So it tends to get lose control at times. You've got to try and do your best to keep that golf club under control uh -huh. and try and pull the golf club in towards the golf ball. Otherwise, the bigger, more dominant areas like shoulders and that, they're going to do the pulling. And they're going to pull the golf centrifugal force and your shoulders dominating. They're going to throw that golf club offline. So keep control of that golf club. Right. And try and feel as though you're pulling in. You can draw it, but a lovely straight ball there. Right, um, yeah. and the sound of the ball and the contact is so much better. But you really shouldn't take a bit of brown parcel tape. You shouldn't have <laughs> <make it off. laughs> uh, It's worth it. Lots of money is that now? That thing's going to make me a pro. Yeah. Pull it, pro tape. <laughs> In a more technical sense, what we're trying to do is, is you start you start driving those hips towards that golf ball. Yeah. So the golf club effectively sort of pulls in. If you look at freeze frame impact positions of your, you know, your, your top golfers, you'll see them in this kind of scrunched up position as they're coming towards impact. They're, they're pulling the hands and arms in towards the body and delivering that power. So the club starts tends to come in like that from the inside a little bit and then deliver all the wrists, wrists and everything to the back of the golf ball and they're pulling in. That's the technical aspect of it. The tape helps you to visualise pulling in tight tape. Yeah. Certainly has a difference on you. I mean, that's not a great shot as a hook, but it's a, it has a difference on your shots. You just just working on something like that starts to affect things. Yeah. And this is. So it's all about interjecting this with your practice so that you've got this, you're learning new things, you're developing new uh, swing techniques, They're trying to get you away from your, um, your bad habits. So, but, I mean, you are looking a lot better. It's, it's just uh, three quarters of a swing, not trying to go too far. And then we get a sense better. Better attacking line anyway. Yeah.
difference from this situation to be on the golf course? Because you're trying to bring the wind into play and everything. So you might try and hit it harder than you normally would. And not think about controlling the swing more as you want to. Yeah, yeah, no, it's quite true. Yeah, as far as you can. True. On the golf course, focus going to be on the swing. And that's the thing, yeah. the difference between um, professional golfers and, and, uh, and amateur golfers is that the professional just says, right, it's 142 to the flag, it's my 9 9. I'm going to stand there and put a 9 9 swing on you know, things. So you're yeah. not thinking about you know, this, that, and the other and stuff. It's just literally just dealing with the job in hand. Not wondering about whether it's going to come in a bit on that breeze. Uh -huh. or, they might allow them to get them out of the breeze, but it's all in the, all in the, the makeup before the shot. Yeah. Swing thought remains clear and concise, and that's what you should be doing. You should be working on clear and concise yeah. swing thoughts, not trying to just you know, force a little bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Your tendency to say when you're swinging the golf club is because we get because it gets a little bit loose here. Is you start the downswing with the, the, the bigger, more dominant areas of the swing of the, of the body, so the golf club gets to step out of line, and then you throw the golf club in there, strikes to the neck. I'm trying to get you to get that, that, have that tape there, so that you get a sense that you're actually pulling that golf club in towards you, and striking from the inside a little bit more, rather than let, rather than letting that, that body dictate. Uh -huh. So you're pulling in it in this way, which, which should give you this slightly into our swing path and get that golf ball started, you just going to just right to target and drawing around. You are still coming that way a little bit. Yeah, okay, the tape's on the inside, so maybe it's getting you to pull a little bit that way, but it's, it's keeping you a little bit more in check on the way down. Yeah, it's not hitting the heel of the club and yeah. going after the round. No, exactly, exactly. So we're just, just, you know, it's all part of this bigger picture of getting, yeah. getting, getting your swing better. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, so. Um, that video basically shows how far you've actually come within a relatively short space of time. You know, we've been doing these, these lessons since November, I think it was when we started. Yeah, we've actually done four, four videos of lessons. Yeah, yeah, four videos. And then a couple of little intermediate sessions. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but it's a big difference. And when we look back at you, when we have looked back at those, those swings of old to where we are now, mm. you, no one can say that there's not, there's not improvement there, because there is. It's just, no, you know, yeah. we're not quite there yet, but we're, we're definitely on the right sort of track. So. Yeah, mine's a bit more noticeable than. Peter might be, but like I say, we're both step, we're stepping in that right direction. Yeah. I'm feeling the difference, I'm seeing the difference when I'm out on the course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's all good so far. But sometimes you do find that when you make alterations to something, you have to take a few steps backwards to make progress forwards. Yeah. It's just that because otherwise you'll get to, you get to a point within your golf swing where you just can't get any better with your old swing. So, you've got to unpick a few stitches, yeah. re evaluate. Go backwards a little bit, and then you'll you'll find you make much more better yeah, progress. Yeah, so. which is exactly what we've done, and exactly yeah. what we're seeing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it shows when we're doing these lessons out. All our shots are a bit wayward at the minute. Yeah, mm. that's right. So when they practice, well, some of us, yeah, some of us, yeah, some of us, yeah, some of us, yeah, shots on on, on demand. Oh, oh. <laughs> you no, know, I wish we were all like Pete. <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only. <laughs> talent. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So if you're not already, subscribe to our channel and follow us on all social medias. For more of this sort of stuff. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks Thank for watching. Bye bye. bye.